I got it. Oh, you were reading. Okay, I gotta film something. Can you lay down? Down. Down. But, oh, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> alive I've been thriving there's been a lot going on in my life lately and I am here to just tell you about all the different things catch you back up and then we're gonna get back into regular content coming at you guys very soon Yuri's about to bring a toy up here we are Yuri did you know that we're filming a video that's quite important Okay, you're gonna be Yuri. We are going to be making a lot of content, so make sure to like and subscribe to this channel if you wanna get regular updates and alerts. When we start posting that content, make sure to click that bell as well. This year has been crazy. Uh, the past few months, I know that I've been hinting at moving to LA. It finally happened. I got approved for my O-1 visa and I moved down here in March to beautiful Los Angeles. I absolutely love living here. Here. I'm in a beautiful area and I get to do what I love every single day. Unfortunately, one of those things hasn't been streaming as much for you guys, but that's going to start changing very, very quickly. I'm going to catch you up on all the things I did. First, I did a really big drive down from Vancouver through uh, Washington, through Oregon, through beautiful California. I took the little detour and went past Big Sur. I didn't, like literally. I rode in comfort mode like the whole way on the i vibe. like Whoa! Goodbye my friends! And then I made it to Los Angeles where I settled in to my new home where you guys are seeing a little peek of it right now. There's more coming. Okay, I just pulled in to my place. Yuri is already exploring it. Put the car in. Yuri, time to go to town. What do you think, baby? <laughs> What do you think? This is your new home. I still haven't had time to finish furnishing it yet, but I have everything that I need, all my essentials, my plants, my lighting, uh, my essential oils. It's the little things that make me happy and feel like I'm grounded and can feel clear at home. And over the past couple months, I've also done a lot of really fun things too. There's been festivals that I went to, lots of dancing, lots of light, lots of incredible artists and amazing people that I've seen, a lot of my friends that I got to see and spend time with. I even went up to the high desert in Joshua Tree. I went out to New York. I had meetings there. Um, I've been all over Los Angeles and it's been a really crazy time. I feel a lot of emotions. The light is changing. I'm just kind of feel like I 100% leading everything I know. Honestly, I don't really know where the time went by. So when I was seeing those comments from you guys saying, where are the YouTube videos? It's been so long since we've had them. I was a little bit like, well, I'm clued in now. I need to start finding more clarity and find more connection to my life because things have been moving at such a fast rate lately. So one of the really cool opportunities that I feel like I manifested was the opportunity to go to San Francisco and check out the Corning Incorporated Makers of Gorilla Glasses facilities and get a tour. We got a really sneak peek about a lot of really cool things that they do. Ohio. Right now, you and I are able to be having this conversation because of Girl of Glass. It is something that you are touching every single day. It is on so many different devices, and they also provide the glass for a lot of the fiber networks that we use right now. So just you being able to watch this video right now and all the other content that you consume online is brought to you by Corning Incorporated. So I had an opportunity to check them out and I'm so, so grateful that they are here and sponsoring this video today. Thank you, Corning Glass. There's so many very, very cool opportunities 
coming up in the future between us and them. And I can't wait to be bringing all of that abundance to you guys very, very soon. So with all this crazy stuff going on in my life lately, I've really recognized the importance of being clear and finding myself to be able to ground and stay durable in this life. And Corning really brought that into perspective for me. It also leads to the focus that I have now on clarity and having durability in my own life. And when all of these changes are happening, and I know you at home right now watching this probably can relate to it, it's really, really important for us to be able to see our lives clearly and be able to make those memories and uh, stay, stay durable during all of these we changes and all these moments in our life, whether you're going through changes in university or school or with your family or your friends, just reminding yourself each and every single day about how powerful you are and that you can handle all of these changes. All you gotta do is take some time. I know that I've been uncomfortable a lot in the past few months with all these new things that I've been doing. I've had to be bad at a lot of things and learning to get comfortable in those moments have been so integral for me to be able to really enjoy them and remind myself that these are just growing pains. This is something new that I'm doing in my life. So as someone that's kind of made it out on the other side, I know there's a lot more moments for me to be uncomfortable and uh, learn new skills, but Guys, I got so much more content coming for you. I cannot wait to show you even longer clips of things that I've been up to in my life. All the work that I've been doing with Gen G, the hosting that I've been doing with Fortnite, um, also the show that I've been producing, Playtime with Kitty Plays, June 21st, maybe see you guys there in Las Vegas. Uh, lots going on in my life. Make sure you check out my Instagram, Kitty Plays, my Twitter, Kitty Plays, for more regular updates on there. I do post to my story each and every single day, but I love my YouTube fam. Thank you guys so much for supporting me during this crazy transition in my life. So, before I go, my challenge for you guys, and Yuri's challenge right now is gonna be to steal her toy back. My challenge for you guys is to think about the one thing in your life that you can do that's gonna get you that much closer towards your goals and your passions. Whatever the fire is inside of your heart, if it's chewing this squeaky toy like Yuri is right now, whatever that fire that you have in your heart is, ask yourself, what is one thing that I can do today that's gonna to get me that much closer? It doesn't matter if you know the whole path yet, but take that one step today to get closer to doing what you love each and every single day. I am just reminding you how much I love you, how much I appreciate you, and I hope you have an amazing day.